to the door. We are coming in this oasis of beauty, alive with the spirit of nature, in the shadow of the mountains. And here we are, graced with the spirit of God, and in the presence of Mother Nature, as Ted, Theodore, Temple, steps forward to join Donna Dewey as they offer themselves to each other, equally employed to be husband and wife. If you were with a loved one or a significant other, Ted and Donna would be honored. If you would join hands or hearts if they aren't present in a silent renewal of your own commitment of love and respect as they are joined in theirs today. Thank you for being with that. Donna, I love you. And I knew this that this love is from God. Because of this, I want to be your husband so that we might serve Christ together through all of the uncertainties and trials of the present and future. I promise to be faithful to you and love you. I promise to guide and protect you as Christ does his church, as long as we both shall live. God's word gives us the perfect example of this love in Christ's death for his church. I shall always try with God's help to show you this kind of love, for I know that in his sight, we will both be one. Ted, I love you. I prayed that God would lead me to his choice. I praise him that today his will is being fulfilled. Through the pressures of the present and uncertainties of the future, I promise my faithfulness to follow you through all of life's experiences as you follow God, that together we may grow into the likeness of Christ and our home be a praise to Him. Thank you. Wedding rings are symbolic. Each a circle with no beginning and no end, whether of metal, stone, wood, or bone. And they represent the eternal circles and cycles that have been sacred to humanity throughout all history. For all things exist in circles and cycles with no beginning and no end, but always beginning again. Just as the moon, the seasons, and everlasting love. These rings are a symbol of the joining together of Donna and Ted with God as their guide. The garnet on one side is Donna's birthstone, and the topaz on the other side is Ted's birthstone, with the diamond in the middle representing God as their center. Ted slipped this ring on Donna's finger and said, I, I give this ring as I give you myself. I give this ring as I give you myself. With love and affection. With love and affection. Spit. This is my knuckle. I had surgery. <laughs> Just a moment. On <laughs> <laughs> because of my knuckle and the surgery. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to put lotion. Oh, uh -huh. now it will never come off. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> okay, Donna, slip this ring on Ted's finger. Yay. I give you this ring as I give you myself. I give you this ring as I give you myself. With love and affection. With love and affection. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and join us in a blessing for the two of you. May your marriage always bring glory to God, joy to one another, and blessings to your family. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home throughout all the days of your lives. May you face every challenge hand in hand and side by side, knowing that with God's grace you will conquer all objects together. And may the world be forever a better place because the two of you fell in love. And now if you would like to light the unity candle. Okay, 
then, if you will all join us in a wedding prayer for this newly united couple are ready to complete their vows. Dear God, we who are gathered here ask that you take this couple into your hands. Help them, O Lord, to keep firm in the commitments they have just made. Guide them, O God, as they become a family. As they each change through the years, may they be as flexible as they are faithful. And Lord, help us all to be your hands if they need be. Strengthen tenderly all of our commitments through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now Ted and Donna. You've gone and done it now, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've shared your love, expressed your desire to live together as husband and wife, and by celebrating your union with your pledges, you've exchanged your ring as a token of your commitment to each other, and have you, you've enjoyed this entire family through your marriage. Therefore, by the authority vested in me, and according to the state laws of Idaho, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and now, you may seal those vows with that mutual surrender known as the kiss. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> And now with great pleasure, with great pleasure, I would like to present to you for the very first time on this planet, Mr. and Mrs. Ted and Donna Hessel. Yay! <laughs> All right. Yes. I see it. <laughs> uh, no. These are brother and sister. This is my sister and her husband back there. Oh, those are the two that are signing? Okay. You do it left handed. It doesn't count, does it? <laughs>